5,000 more wounds bleeding all over your body. And yet, you're able to say, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. Humiliated in front of your mother and in front of the women, your body exposed for everybody to laugh at without any feeling of pity for you, and yet you're still concerned that you're leaving your mother behind. Behold your son, behold your mother. You are already gasping for breath, and you are still able to console a sinner who repents and says, Today you will be with me in paradise. Some people have been humiliated. Some people have suffered. But no one has loved like Jesus yet. And that is what we must always remember. We were saved by His humiliation. We were also saved by His sufferings. We are saved by the love that He put into those sufferings. And we are saved by the deep love that He poured upon the people who have humiliated Him. Did He die for the good ones? Did He die for the apostles? Yes. But He also died for the soldiers who stripped Him and mocked Him and played dice to win over His garments. He died for them. To the soldier who put vinegar on the tip of the hyssop that was used in the toilet in order to mock him for saying, I thirst, did the Lord die for him? Yes. The challenge of Good Friday is, can you do that? 